Hello everyone, Deb Floros, guest designer for Rings and Things. Let's make some full, fabulous statement earrings with these really cool leaf filigree pieces. Um, you get several of them, six of them in the package, and I'm going to combine them with some beautiful prestige crystals. I've got some 10 millimeter metallic finish globe beads and some four millimeter crystal bicones, and I'm going to be using using 24 gauge wire to wrap the beads onto these leaf pieces. Now you can decide how you want to go about this. You may want to embellish the leaf all the way down and up both sides of the leaf. I'm kind of doing this a little, you know, avant-garde, a little wrapping on one side, a little wrapping on the other. And what I'm doing first is I'm establishing a wrap by putting the wire through one of the open sections of that leaf. And I'm wrapping the wire around three times and then trimming off my excess. Then I'm stringing on one of those bicones and I'm holding it onto the front of the leaf. These leaves have nice flat surfaces, so you can kind of hold it onto the surface. Then I'm going down through another hole in the leaf and doing three more wraps. That's consistently how I'm doing the wraps throughout this process. You'll have to decide how comfortable you are with where you want them and where you're putting the wire. Um, it's a little bit of you know a design um, option for you to pick what areas you want to wrap the beads onto. But I kind of like um, on one side putting them up a little bit towards the top and then I am going to add some down towards the bottom on the other side. So I'm wrapping on three beads and something you need to be aware of is 24 gauge wire is tricky. It can get kinked. It can get stiff. It can get brittle. You want to try and keep the wire kind of straight and loopy, like bendy, like see that loop I'm creating. It will help prevent the kinks. So you'll want to position those loops in a way that you're not creating kinks. This takes a little bit of practice and with six of the leaves, um, you can always spend a little time practicing on one and then using another for your finished piece. So I'm doing three wraps. I like how that looks on that side. So I'm going to snip off the excess and I am going to come in with some chain nose pliers and tighten up those little wraps and tuck in my little end where I snipped off the excess. So I'm cutting off each time for each side. I'm cutting off about I don't know, eight inches worth of wire, maybe a little bit more. You probably won't need that much, but I think I actually cut off like 12 inches when I started and then used up uh, what I wrapped and then I used the rest on the other side. You may need the assistance of your chain nose pliers to help you pull the wire through some of those holes in the leaf. Feel free to do that, especially if it's going to help you prevent kinking up that wire. I had no problem um, with kinks and I also had no breaks or, or flaking of the wire or anything as I used this. So um, it worked out just fine. So I'm getting a little close to the end with those two beads down at the bottom. So you'll have to be mindful of, can you actually do three wraps in there? I think I was able to do two in that very last hole near the tip of that leaf pendant. I love how that looks, but gosh, there's so much more space that you can use to wrap things on. So we're gonna do something kind of funky. We're gonna take that 10 millimeter bead and string some wire through and then I'm going to push the wire over and around the bead and go back through the hole of the bead. And I'm going to pull the wire. Now this is a little bit challenging. Pull the wire through to get a little frame around it. Um, it almost looks like a little satellite or something, maybe Saturn. Um, and I'm put, pulling the wire through the other side. You may need some pliers to help you do this, but you should be able to fit all of those passes through these beads. Then I'm going to cut um, the wire so that I have about two inches on either side, maybe two and a half. 
And what you're gonna do then is pick your place to wrap this little section or this little bead on. And again, I'm pushing it through one of the holes in the leaf. And then I'm kind of settling that bead flat onto the edge of the leaf. So because that edge is flat, it's really easy to kind of hold it on there and then do your wraps. So I'm just doing the same thing I did before, doing three wraps. I had to use pliers a little bit more to do the wrapping here because my wire piece is a little bit shorter. So that, um, that makes it a little bit tougher to wrap through those holes in the leaf. And I just think this looks so cool and interesting, just kind of um, sitting there like a big bubble on the leaf. Um, maybe it's a drip of water on a leaf. I think it kind of looks like that. So really fun. You could add more crystals um, from where I wrapped my bicones down to that larger bead. Totally up to you. There's so many design possibilities for this project. I'm just doing another one of those large beads. So pushing the wire back through and pulling that wire. It's a little bit tough to do it, but trust me, it will work. Just be patient and you'll get uh, your little bead frame around that. And I've got two, um, two nice little wraps around that bead. Now I'm going to trim down that wire again. And then we're going to wrap that one on to the other side of the leaf. And we're going to put that one up a little bit higher on the leaf. So we've got kind of a little asymmetrical vibe going on. And um, I'm just using the same technique, three wraps. The bead's going to settle down onto the flat portion of the leaf, then um, wrap it around in another hole. And then you're gonna cinch up that wire with some chain nose pliers. I love how this looks. You could actually use this as a pendant if you want. Um, it's actually a pretty big leaf. So for earrings, might not be your jam, but you could make a pendant this way. And I'm adding some beautiful gold tone ear wires and um, closing that up with chain nose pliers. I love these fall statement earrings. I think they're really fun and fabulous. You can find everything to make these fun and fabulous fall earrings at ringsandthings.com. Thank you so much for watching.